Okay, I'm pulling files together on my computer for this book. And I thought I'd throw a quick video together to give you an idea of what it's about and what it's going to be like and what it's going to, what's going to be in it, the kind of level of detail. This is a, a huge um, endeavour. It's um, going to be, I'm going to try and cover all of the geodesic domes that I've designed over the last 20 years. The book will have, hopefully, all of the information that you need uh, from a geometric point of view. It won't deal with building methods just yet. I'm going to probably do another book for that. Uh, but this one, I'm trying to do to cover all of the usable designs. Uh, let me give you some examples, and that's probably the easiest way. Is Right, uh, let me start with standard three frequency, like that. I'll do a colour coded uh, example and I'll do how to draw that in CAD. So there'll be instructions for drawing it in CAD and what the basic polyhedron is. This is a, a bog standard um, three frequency dome. Now I've got special geometry that keeps the dihedral angle even. I'll put them in as well and everybody will be asking do, will you be doing the flat bottom version? Yes, I'll be doing all of that. Uh, so what, what they'll end up being is a collection of every polyhedron possible that you can build a structure out of let me show you some others uh, um oh, here's another one uh, what so what this this will be your basic overview we'll do color coded struts color coded nodes so that you know exactly what the color coded struts and nodes look like let's get rid of that uh, we'll also do ground section planes uh, because you can split a dome in different ways we'll i'll show you all the splits but i'll also give you the measurements for these uh, ground sections because you never get that in any dome calculators and it's super handy so uh, what you end up with is something that looks a bit like this uh, this is my first sort of attempt uh, this is the flat bottom three frequency you can see the color coded and uh, let me just bring up what it is that's this one so you can see the color code, the color code is the same. You've got green lines, purple lines, black lines, red lines. So that's the, that's what we're building. And this is what you the um, what the book should have for you. Now, I haven't done face angles on here. So that's to I'll, I'll add that face angles, lengths, dihedral angles here, here between so you can see that, for example, this is the dihedral angle between two red panels. This is the dihedral panel i'm going to move this off to one side so you can see behind us two green panels is which is this one here that's 166.8 uh purple what have we got red to blue there you go red to blue 168 degrees now these arrows are the distance um from the point here to the center of the dome these are all the same but sometimes that changes and it's important to have those so all i'm going to add to here is face angles here oh no i forgot something i'll also be adding this um what I'll, uh, I'll tell you what i'll do is i'll put together a page for something simple like a two frequency dome and i'll have all of the information in it these are all the angles if you were to make a hub fl a flat hub these are the angles that you'd have um on that but this is this is to a dis different dome so don't get confused please i'll get rid of that but yes i'll what i'll do is i'll put a page together of of the information for a something simple like a two frequency dome and uh you can take a look at it and if i've missed anything just let me know and i'll add it before i start adding all the polyhedron because there's going to be tons and tons of them there's going to be all weird stuff like this that's a in a contrahedron that would make a nice geodesic dome with um kite shaped or diamond shaped panels um there's also the um this one here which is i think i have this uh, in the plans and kits i think what do i call this one um solaris i think i call that one um there's this one here you might recognize this one this is the geometry for the unity dome so i'll include that so i'm going to there's going to be like this is going to be probably not as big as the bible but it'll have more pictures you know we're going to have tons and tons of different uh, forms of geometry let's have a look there's your, there's your basic two frequency i'll do that one as the example 
Uh, so there'll be two frequency, three frequency. We'll also do panel layouts like this um, because it, that's handy with your ground section so you know how many panels and which ones are cut. I'll do zooms. So I'll do zooms from, say, um, five up to ten. So that's five different rooms. And there's also this here. I found this on my, in my files looking for um, stuff the other day there. Uh, this is a geotangent zoom. So there is a tons and tons of different stuff. Lots of it you won't have seen before, and I'm pretty sure you'll find it interesting. Um, keep uh, subscribe if you want to see how we we'll go forward with this. But the next, probably the next video I'll put out, I'll put a I'll put a page or two together for the basic two frequency dome, and then if I've missed anything, you know, you, you need um, some, you know, there'll be the angles here, the face angles. The strut lengths, the dihedral angles, uh, and the um, distance from the node to the center, and uh, the the places where you can cut it as a ground section, and I'll do that for a two frequency dome. That'll give us an idea of how long it takes to do one. I'll put it up up, up on the um, website for free, uh, so you can have a look at it. And if I've missed anything, uh, you can let me know, and that way I don't I don't like miss the same thing in like 40 different polyhedrons okay thanks for watching um much appreciate your support on this and uh, we'll see you in the next one